RTH podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion, but remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. For all night champions, sign up now. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm checking in, man. So, Rolly Romero is out here trying to put his bid in to see Ryan Garcia next. Now, both of these gentlemen, bro, and Rolly Romero and Ryan Garcia, gave it their all in the fight versus Tank Davis, but they both fall short. Ryan Garcia lasts exactly one round uh, longer in the ring with Ryan then Rowley did and Rowley of course had great first few rounds but then bruh it seems as though he just ran out of a game plan and ends up uh falling asleep in a crazy left hook knockout by Tank Davis so both of these guys fall victim to the left hook and both of these gentlemen were left looking for the latter of their careers to see man what's next for these guys you see what i'm saying um because both of these gentlemen right now really don't have the bulk of the boxing community behind them anymore now ryan garcia right now is dealing with some crazy um things when it comes to his former promoter or current promoter and Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar is just kind of being a Debbie Downer to a certain degree. Um, I looked at the likes of Arnold Barbosa Jr., who is a top-ranked fighter who was just let out of his contract uh, by uh, the likes of Bob Arum. They just allowed him to move forward with his career. They had a fight that they was trying to get for Arnold Barbosa Jr., and it kept falling through. And so they didn't hold him up. You know, they said, hey, man, we can't do anything else for you. We're going to let you go. And he gets to move on. Now, where will he go next? We don't know. But we will be hearing that news shortly. Saying that to say Ryan Garcia, who has been kind of the workhorse for Golden Boy. Um, even though a lot of people could say it's been Jaime Mungil, it hasn't. Um, the guy who brings the 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 uh, attention and the interest to Golden Boy has been Ryan Garcia this entire time. Even taking on a life as a YouTube creator just to kind of build more fans and get younger fans interested in seeing him. That tank fight was really built off Ryan Garcia's back. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get it twisted. I do give uh, Tank Davis his credit for being Tank Davis, but he's Tank Davis. That's why. Um, a lot of the interest really came from Ryan because it was more so of could he do it? Could he beat the bully at at the uh, at the school? Could he beat the guy at the flagpole? Like you know what I'm saying? Because Tank Davis is that good. And so uh, bringing in all of that new interest, um, hearing that he's getting the $30 million for fighting Tank Davis, he deserved it. But saying that to say, he feels as though all of his work that he's done over there at Golden Bar is over. He's ready to leave. So is Ryan really in a good mode right now to see the likes of Rolly Romero? I don't know. But the last time I seen these two gentlemen duke it out between uh, Rolly Romero and Ryan Garcia, what ended up taking place was a, uh, a sparring match where well, Rowley seemed to have been getting the better of Ryan. Now, maybe Rowley is just a wild-style fighter, and uh, Ryan just didn't know how to deal with that. It could have been that. Like, I can't really say that uh, Rowley was landing a ton of clean punches on Ryan. He was kind of roughing them up to a certain degree, but Ryan was still looking as though he was being defeated in that sparring match, but sparring is not the same as uh, no headgear, and uh a thousand plus people watching you guys swing fists at each other the atmosphere of a boxing fight is totally different than that of an in the gym training kind of fight around all of your peers and uh boxers alike see what i'm saying and just trainers so it is what it is in the aspect um Rolly romero has a fight coming up with versus a guy by the name of o'hara davies um, who he will be seeing and I'm assuming will be an interim title fight uh, for the WBA interim title uh, that he holds but uh, he's saying let's F up Ohari Davis 
<clears throat> excuse me, and then move on to see Ryan Garcia next. Have to deal with his B word A, um, ASAP in so many words. Rody goes on to say, Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, Romero said, As much as I want the Ryan is to happen, um, like, let's be honest, who would you rather see me in the ring with, Ryan Garcia or O'Hara Davis? Um, also goes on to say, I'm gonna uh tell you like this if i gotta deal with that ish word um i gotta deal with this ish Rody said um like i said he wants to be a fun sponge um and f up all of the effing exciting fights in boxing because i mean he's not that exciting of a fighter all he does is slap um, when speaking on uh, Ryan Garcia so I don't know man this is a, a fight that I'm kind of interested in seeing because it will kind of show who is the next guy in line we all know that Tank Davis right now is just a man and you can't take it from Tank um, he's free now so I guess congratulations to him for uh, going through his little bid and now I'm being able to kind of be free again and not have to deal with all of the legal issues that come with the things that he's done outside the ring. Uh, Y'all know me, I don't like to speak on legal issues, but it is what it is. He's home now and he's safe. Um, I seen a crazy uh, thumbnail uh, that, that kind of threw me by surprise uh, from YouTube, but I, I it's, it's a lot of weirdos on the YouTube scene. Um, and anyways, it kind of made Tank out to have been injured um, to say the least, uh, in his bid. And, uh, yeah, come to find out it was fake. It wasn't real. So that's good to know that, uh, Tank is okay and he's out and, uh, can get back into the ring ASAP. I don't know who will be his next dance partner, but I'm hearing the likes of Shakur Stevenson may be the guy. So if we can get, uh, Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson in the ring next, I will have to remove, bruh, uh, Tim Zhu as my number one fighter of the year this year because for Tank Davis to go into the ring versus Shakur and win whether it's by uh, KO or just by getting the, the decision bro that's crazy for his third fight and knowing that Tim Zhu cannot get Jamel Charlo I don't think he could find a better third fight to kind of overdo Tank Davis but as far as this particular scenario between Rolly Romero and Ryan Garcia, bro, I would love to see it happen if it if it were to happen. But the question is, is will Ryan still be a member of Golden Boy before we can get these two gentlemen in the ring? Not to mention for Roly uh, Romero, who's coming off of a questionable win, bro. Very questionable stoppage in his last fight. Having people thinking that he's not as good as he uh, claims to be, as people have been building him up to be. Can he go in the ring with the likes of Ohari Davis and actually give a legitimate outing, a clear, decisive win where he proves beyond a reasonable doubt that his hands are still like that and that he can stand up to the total uh, impact that is that division in the uh, super lightweight division. Can he stand up to those guys and really give them a legitimate fight? Because being TMT at this stage in the game doesn't really hold any more weight. You have to be able to swing your fist and put on a show. Now, Tank can still hold the TMT logo up because he doesn't lose. Not only that, but he does get the close and he does knock people out. So that is what it is. But as far as Roly Romero is concerned, holding that TMT banner, losing to Tank Davis isn't a big issue because you lose to a stable mate. But going out here and losing to what most would deem an older gentleman, most people said that the fight was stopped too soon and Roly was losing the fight. So yeah, it doesn't look as well as losing to Tank Davis. He could be losing interest in his career. But gotta ask you guys who will win this showdown if it were to go down between Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia, do you guys see Rolly Romero being that dominant of a fighter over Ryan Garcia? Um, do you guys see him being able to get the KO win over Ryan Garcia and kind of derailing Garcia's career for the most part? To lose to Rolly right now after losing the tank just means that Ryan Garcia isn't as um, high on the totem pole as one would deem him to be. But do you guys see um, Ryan Garcia doing what Ryan Garcia does prior to losing to tank? which is dominating most superstars he stepped into the ring with, with those fast fists, that power in both hands, being very lanky and using that jab to his 
benefit, bro. So this is all of the questions I have for you guys to leave in the comment section below. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace.